do this is William I want to talk about uh, different edge profiles um, having a multiple edge style on a blade or on a knife has its advantages okay um, I know Mora came out with one I think it was the 2000 Mora was is the name of it where it had uh, on the tip of it the very tip of it it had just a flat grind and next to the to the hilt or the handle it had a, a V grind or a Scandi grind and uh, that was very popular uh, that because uh, next to the handle most of the time you're wood carving I don't have one of those never have uh, don't know why I just never never bought one but um, anyway that was that was probably um, a very popular or well-known design um, now the first time that I applied uh, multiple grinds was on the, uh, the survival multi tool and here it is it's, it's been well loved it hadn't been cleaned in a while but uh, you see all the tannins and everything on it it's been used considerably but it has a convex grind on this part a chisel grind and a, a flat or a saber grind so it has a multiple uh, grinds on it for for different purposes so it will it will different grinds uh, has an optimum use so I applied that to to make this tool very effective now from there I uh, did the swamper and you guys have seen the swamper and you know that it is just sharp from here to here this here is a false false edge so that's a, a, a multi-purpose or a combination grind, if you will, on the knife. And that serves as a, a purpose so that you can choke up on the blade and use it as a knife. And this came from watching people in the Amazon of how they use their machetes. This is something that, that they've grown up and, and are accustomed to using. Somebody said in there just had a heart attack saying it's unsafe, you're gonna hand, you're gonna slip, it's gonna go up with blade and you're gonna cut your fingers off. If you use a knife, you're gonna get cut, people. So it depends on what you get used to and what you train yourself to do. Okay? So if you if you don't like it, feel unsafe about it, don't get it. Alright. So alright, and here we got four wheelers coming. I guess we got the neighbors got new four wheelers or something. They've been running burning the roads up. So the very next step uh, was that some friends of mine have been talking on uh, on Google Plus and different forums, and uh, the first time that I ever really noticed and paid attention to a multiple grind or a multiple edge profile was when I saw the tracker. The tracker just blew the knife world away. David Beck and Tom Brown just uh, nailed it on that knife. Some people love it, some people hate it, but whether you love it or hate it, you have to admit that that design was exceptional and special. Okay? Um, I have been talking to a, a certain person about designing a knife based on that concept. Um, and we've been talking back and forth for several months now I mean we're neither one of us is in a hurry but then I was on a forum the other day and uh, we got to talking about it again and I said well I've, I've got a design that I've been playing with I hadn't made a knife yet but I'm going to and this is this is my take on the tracker okay and it's different uh, David Beck's tracker has it is a straight straight back uh, with kind of a drop point is this is a clip point more of a clip point uh, his the original one had a hollow ground here or this is just a flat grind um, his was uh, I think the ones he's doing now is a chisel grind whereas this one is a chisel grind with a a slight back bevel I find that 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 gives it a little bit more strength and of course his handle was straight where mine is a little crooked has a little bit more contour to it so, but this is my take on the tracker, or he calls it the WSK or the Wilderness Survival Knife. So, 
I've been playing with this and there is something to be said about multiple grinds for different purposes on a knife. If you think about it, you use a certain part of this blade up here for certain things. Okay? This down here you use it for different things. Now I'm not talking about processing game or butchering game. I'm talking about general woods chores, like camp chores, things like that. Most of the time you're using a blade at this part to do wood carving, wood crafting, and things like that. Whereas this part is more of butchering animals, chopping, and, uh, and so on and so forth. So, and, and these types of grinds excel at that. Um, then from this, I went to the last and final one, and I'm still playing around with it. And this one has three different grinds on it. This side has a very high saber grind. Right here has a chisel type grind or a saber grind. But on the back side, excuse me, bad. on the back side, it has a shallow saber grind, which almost makes this a Scandi that's offset. Okay? Now the idea behind this was to have a little fire tool. I mean, it has the the bow drill uh, socket here. If you had a kydex sheath, you could grab it and not have to worry about it. If you had rivets and things up here to protect your hands, and uh, it's just a skeleton, a little skeleton knife. That uh, and you could do use this chisel, semi chisel grind, which is not quite a chisel because it has a back back grind to do feather sticks. That's the idea behind it. Um, so I'm just playing around with it and just kind of let you guys know what, what I was, I'm doing and see how it works. Don't know. I do know that um, just, see this is what I've been whittling on the last couple of days with it. I mean with that, with that uh, chisel grind, it just, I mean it just hogs the wood. You think a, 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 um, A V grind or a, a um, uh, well, hog the wood. You try a chisel grind. <laughs> I mean, it just it just soaks it up. I mean, you could you could go through some serious wood here quickly with it. So, but anyway, something to think about on the multiple different. Uh, having a knife with uh, different grinds for for different purposes so let me know what you guys think um, I've been having a ball with this and uh, just kind of playing around with it the last couple of days I've, and uh, you know just the I, it just even with this red oak I mean you're talking about some fine feather sticks I mean without any effort at all it's just unbelievable. And I mean... <laughs> you have a lot of control over it. And if you wanted to, I mean, you could, you could choke up on this blade and use it as a small blade. So anyway, something to think about. But I hope it got you guys to thinking about this and and uh, the next evolution in knife making, maybe. I haven't seen anybody else doing this. Uh, like I said, David Beck, a phenomenal knife maker. My hat's off to him. Uh, he came up, him and Tom Brown, had a collaboration, I think, for the Tom Brown tracker that Topps Knives uh, had. And I don't know if Beck had a knife and they modified it for the movie The Haunted. I don't really know uh, exactly how that came about. But David Beck was the original maker. He still sells them. Check out his uh, website. That's David Beck. Or you can do a Google search for the WSK knife. That's the Wilderness Survival Knife. And you'll see uh, his knives are, well, similar to this, but not quite. <laughs> so this is a variation of that. His knives are a little bit different. Of course, he's been doing this a lot longer than I have. A lot more experience. But... Uh, Anyway, a phenomenal knife. I got the uh, the the tracker 
from tops and I didn't like it that much. I mean it was a quarter inch steel. It was just unwielding. It was it just was cumbersome. I didn't care for it. But this one this one is 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 not it 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 doesn't feel as awkward as the uh, the other tracker. Um, the actual tracker at tops. This one has a very high saber saber grind whereas uh, Bex, I think, has a very shallow saber grind. His is a little bit more beefy than mine is. Mine is uh, 3 16 steel. Um, but, of course, I like thinner blades. Um, I, don't, I probably don't abuse my knives as much as, as uh, some would. But um, this one was made for me to play with. <laughs> so, anyway. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And... Uh, it got you guys to thinking about multiple grinds on the same knife and uh, the benefits of that. And uh, until the next one, you guys get out in the woods. Go with a long stick. I mean, the wind has just blowing, been blowing here just unreal. I mean, you couldn't get out on the lake if you wanted to. We crossed over the bridge coming back from town while we were going. It had two to three foot swells. I mean, just unreal for this time of year. This is like March. I don't know. Maybe one day it will calm down to where I can get out there. So, anyway, you guys get out there if you can. <laughs> Go to the backyard, whittle on a stick. And uh, if you do, take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. Get you a, a multi-grind, multiple grind knife. <laughs> it's different. We'll catch you again soon. Bye.